Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back. So today we're gonna to be going through my six ring binder collection. And yes, y'all, we're going through all 16 six ring binders. So first up, we're gonna start with my A7 binders. So these binders are so compact and cute. I love them so, so much. So as you guys can see, I currently have a five of them. So we're starting off with this pink A Bubble Crush Angelic Cupid Diary. I love the hollow detail on this one as well as the heart print on it. So as I'm opening it up, you guys can see that it has several pockets to put different papers, cards, different photos. And even in the back, I added this My Melody art print, which I think is so colorful and cute. And here's the quick flip through of these refills. I decided to do plain white ones as well as pastel heart grid ones. And now I'm just going to show you guys a peek at the journal spread that I've completed in here so far. So this was a colorful, hopeful journal spread that I made. So next up is this clear A7 binder. I got this off of Etsy from a shop called Of Cloud, although I currently don't see it on there. So as you guys can see, the front and back are clear. So as we open this up, I wanted to show you guys the refills. So I decided to do some white as well as pastel refills. This binder came in a set, so it came with this zipper pouch, some stickers and small art prints. It also has a ruler with it. And then I just added on this binder clip and this rainbow ribbon from Hobby Lobby. So here's the pink and purple satin spread that I completed in this binder. And I just love the color combo of these two so much, as well as the fact that I journaled about my emotions in this way. Next up, we have a journal spread where I had the reminder to take care of yourself. And I just love all the pastel colors I used. And then I had to show you guys this cookie love journal spread. If you have been a part of the kitten family for a while, you know that I love chocolate chip cookies. So I really love this spread. And if you guys didn't know, I also made these stickers. So that was a quick peek into this binder. And next up, we have these two A Bubble Crush folder diaries. So first, we're going to start with this pink and yellow one. So as you guys can see, the cover has this embossing detail. It's on the front as well as on the back. It also has this really pretty yellow binder mechanism. Before we open this up, I wanted to show you guys the cinnamon roll binder cover insert I did. I think it's so cute. I love it so much. Plus, cinnamon roll is my favorite Sanrio character, so be sure to comment yours below. So now I wanted to show you guys these binder refills. So I have a mix of pastel ones as well as pastel galaxy themed ones. And I only have one journal spread in here, but this was also a reminder about enjoying life. And now we're going to look at this black folder diary, which is the exact same style as the pink and yellow one I just showed you guys. It just has more silver accents and it also has that embossing on the front and back. And for this cover insert, I decided to do a My Melody theme, which I absolutely love. So these refills are also by E Bubble Crush and I love the colorful heart grid ones. So in this one, I only have one journal spread so far as well and I decided to keep the My Melody theme. So next up is this heart-shaped A7 binder that I got from AliExpress and I love the fact that it's just really pretty blue but it also has that hollow effect to it and it has this super cute bear on the back. So here I'm showing you guys how the binder rings match up with another A7 binder of mine. So once we open this up, you can see the heart shape better with the binder cover. And it came with these white refills. And again, you can see the heart shape and it's so cute. That's one of my favorite shapes, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Now we're looking at my A7 wide binder, also known as a square diary. And I love the pink trim as well as the hollow glitter on the front and on the back and y'all even the zipper is pink and it has this cute flower charm so once we open this up you can see the binder cover insert that i diy'd with of course rainbows and these refills are a mix of like off-white as well as pastel galaxy themed so here's a spread that I recently completed where I also DIY'd this binder refill as well. And I just think it's so colorful and it also has a positive reminder on it. 
So now we're moving on to the A6 and Archive 6 string binders. So first up is this A6 binder by the brand Sense, and I think this heart hollow is so pretty. The rainbow effect makes me so happy. And just a heads up, this PVC cover is a little flimsy. However, as we open this up, we have another DIY binder cover insert that I made. Yes, y'all, it's a rainbow and I love it. So for these refills, I went with more of like a pastel heart theme type of look to them. And here is the Pronomi journal spread that I made in this. And I'll also be sure to link that video down below if you guys want to see the binder setup for this one. So next up is this A Bubble Crush Archive Cute Binder, and I believe that this is an A6 half diary size. So while most of this binder cover is clear, it does have a keyhole, and here's a peek at what's inside of this binder. It also has some pastel embossing on the front. So as I open it up, you guys can see that I did deco the front of this binder. And since this binder has practical refills, I put a lot of my deco sticker sheets in it. And I think it's just so useful and so helpful when it comes to sticker storage. Plus my collection has been growing, so I am super glad that I have this binder. So here we have a few more of my A6 binders. And I will say that this binder size is very controversial. So here's my purple A6 binder and I actually got this one off of AliExpress. I love the hollow glitter on the cover and as you guys can see it also has a purple trim. It also has a purple binder mechanism and a zipper closure. So for this cover insert this is actually an art print that I got from by Justine. And as far as the refills these are some pastel ones that I got off of Amazon that I'll link below as well as some DIY binder refills. So here's a journal spread I really like from this binder. This is one that I did on self love. And next up is this journal spread that I did based on journal prompts for self-discovery. And I love the pink and blue combo. And then here's the blue version of the same binder that I just showed you guys. So this binder is more so of my catch-all if I have any spreads from my purple A6 that I don't really like. I typically put them in here. And again, these refills are the same ones that I got off of Amazon. So looking at a few spreads from this one, I have some on feelings as well as my goals. And then I also made a spread about self-worth. So next up is this A Bubble Crush A6 Folder Diary. This is just like the A7 ones that I showed you guys earlier. So this one also has that embossing on the front and back. However, this one's more of a pink and blue color combo. So as I'm opening this one up, you guys can see that the binder refills are still in their original packaging. So this is just a huge stack of planner refills. However, I'm not really a paper planner girl, but I still think this is super useful for those that really like to plan using paper. And now we have my purple Luca Lab Archive Binder. So this one has a really pretty purple composition theme. This one also has a PVC glitter cover on it, which I'll show you guys in more detail. It also has an elastic band closure. So as I'm opening it up, you guys can see more that there's actually a glitter cover over top of the binder. And for these refills, I went with plain white ones as well as these super cute and aesthetic ones from the brand Luca Lab. And if you know, you know that I really love this spread. I think it's so colorful, it's so aesthetic, it's so pretty. I actually got these pictures from Pinterest and I think they look so good together. So next up, we have this super cute Care Bears Archive Binder. I love the baby blue color and it just has so many different rainbow elements to it. So this one features Bedtime Bear and it also has Cheer Bear on the front. So you can see there's a card slot in the front. And then in the back, there's also this back pocket. And then I also purchased this zipper pouch. And you can see that it has a front and back cover insert with all the different Care Bears. So as I'm flipping through, you guys can see that this binder has planner refills which I think is great if you love paper planning. 
So next up is my beloved A6 Wide Square Binder. I love this binder so much, y'all. It features this hollow detail, which is actually a cover. It also has a key loop for any keychains or key rings you have. This binder also features a pink elastic band closure. It has a pin holder. And here I'm just showing you guys that this is an actual PVC cover over this kind of frosted binder color. So here's a peek at how I deco this binder cover insert and I actually used some of the refills that I bought for this binder for it. So kittens, these refills really made me so happy. I promise you guys, these have been a game changer for my journal spread process. So here's a recent journal spread I did featuring none other than Hello Kitty and I think it is so cute. Another one of the mini spreads that I like in this binder is this Dreamy Vibe spread. It's so pastel and it's so pretty. I just really like how it turned out. And if you guys have seen any of my recent six string binder videos, you know how much I love these two Sanrio journal spreads, especially this pink and purple Karomi and my Melody one. I love the two tone that I did here. So now we're gonna look at the two A5 binders that I have. So first up is this clear hollow one from AliExpress. I also love that this binder has more gold in terms of the binder rings and the button closure. And this PVC is way more durable than the one I showed you guys earlier. Also, this cover insert is from Second Mansion, and it was really hard to find binder refills for this binder until I stumbled on the ones from Paper Qualia from Etsy. I also found these scratchable rainbow ones from Mochi Things. And then here are a few binder refills that I DIY'd myself before I knew some people sold A5 refills that I liked. So a few of the spreads that I really love from this binder is of course my Dom Richard spread. She's my number one favorite singer. I think this spread is so colorful and it's so cute and it makes me so happy. So next up is this red of my second favorite singer, Her, and I just love all the rainbow accents that I added onto this one. I also really like this journal spread that I completed with SZA on it. I think it's so colorful and pretty as well. And if you guys haven't guessed it by now, I really love rainbow colors. And now we're gonna look at my A5 Luca Lab composition binder. So this one is just like the archive one, except it's this super pretty pink. So as we open this one up, I have a lot of pastel heart refills, as well as some aesthetic ones by Luca Lab that have a really pretty photo with a quote on them. So kittens, I'm sure my 16 binder collection is just going to keep growing. The fact that they all have different features and styles and colors, different refills that you can buy or make your own for them with. And I'm glad that I'm sharing my collection with you guys. So be sure to comment below your favorite 16 binder size and to see my recommended 16 binders for 2023. Be sure to check out my next video and I'll see you guys in the next one, kittens. Oh, my mustache is sweating. <laughs> I need to wax this thing for real. It's gross. Like, I'm competing with my husband at this point. Ew. I like having a husband, y'all. <laughs> Is my hair crooked? Mm, I don't know right now. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, my hand is nervous. Ow. Oh. <laughs>